A light day of travel for President Trump, who was greeted with cheers at his campaign headquarters in Northern Virginia today. The president thanked everyone for their work. When asked if he prepared both a concession and a victory speech, the president said he's got his victory speech ready to go. This is video from just a few hours ago of Vice President Biden in Philadelphia, the Democratic nominee, taking a few minutes to speak with voters outside his campaign office here in West Oak Lane. Biden made a stop in Scranton early this morning, and he will end his night in Delaware. NBC 10's Lauren Make spoke one on one with Biden during his stop in Philadelphia today. She joins us now with how both campaigns spent their final hours. Lauren, as we all know, crunch time. Yeah, Jacqueline, it certainly is. And for the Biden campaign, turning out the vote here in Philadelphia is crucial. President Trump showed in 2016 that he has strength in other parts of the state. So Democrats need as many votes in Philadelphia as they can get. Both campaigns want Pennsylvania. The former vice president today told me he is confident that people who did not come out to vote in 2016 are voting this time. From his boyhood home to the city he chose for a campaign headquarters, Joe Biden in the final sprint of Election Day. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. I tell you, Pennsylvania is, uh, is my home state. We just went up to Scranton. Uh, we're going to finish up in Delaware, and uh, I feel good about it. I spoke one on one to Biden at the Constitution Center in the final hours of the campaign. People are standing in line to vote, but we are also seeing here in Philadelphia and other places. Places being boarded up, boarded up, stores being boarded up because people don't know what is going to happen, win or lose. How are you going to keep people calm after the By polls not close? doing the kind of things the president is doing, suggesting that if if somehow he doesn't win, there's a, it's been stolen. I mean, this is this is not who we are. We've never been through this before, like this. And so I believe the American people are showing up in droves. They're ready for change. They want to make their voices heard. And they're showing up in the middle of a pandemic, high unemployment, and they're, they're determined to have their voices heard. I don't think we're going to have any problem. President Trump tweeting last night that a recent Supreme Court ruling on Pennsylvania ballots will, quote, induce violence in the streets. I spoke with campaign senior advisor and daughter in law to the president, Laura Trump. Is he encouraging that? What does that mean? Well, this president has never encouraged violence in the streets. In fact, he's been the one since uh, day one back in, in the summer, whenever we had seen all of these riots and chaos and anarchy in the streets, saying we need peace. We want to send in the National Guard to quell the violence. For the president, the final stretch has included rallies in Pennsylvania and other swing states. I think uh, momentum is always what you want to have going into Election Day and leading up to uh, an election like this. And you've very clearly seen the energy and momentum behind President Trump. Today, President Trump visiting campaign workers in Virginia. I'm hearing we're doing well all over. I hear the lines are amazing. And talk turning back to the state he's trying to win again today. Well, we spent a lot of time in Pennsylvania. It's always been a very good place for me. I went to college there. It's always been good. Uh, I think Pennsylvania is very important. Now, I did reach out to both the White House and the Trump campaign to see if we could talk one on one with the president today. We were not granted an interview with him, but the campaign did arrange for us to talk to Laura Trump. As you saw, President Trump will be watching the results tonight from the White House. Joe Biden will be in Wilmington. And I asked Biden if we would hear from him tonight. He said it depends on whether it is appropriate, but that he guesses he'll be saying something. Live in the newsroom, I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.